Perpetual motion. The motion of bodies that continues indefinitely. Indefinite. 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 Huh. A hypothetical machine that can do work indefinitely without an energy source, huh? Mm, this kind of machine is impossible. Huh. Well, I guess we need to try this on out, don't we? <laughs> Got this. Hold on. No. Kraken. No. Cr Kraken. Kraken. Hold on. No. N no. Oh dear. Dear God. The first perpetual motion machine is not working too well. Oh. Oh sweet Jesus. Oh dear. Oh. Just. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. So. Take two! <laughs> so what's up people, it's your boy Jatuan, I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program, and thank you all for the birthday wishes, it has been, uh, yeah, you all have been really kind, I am starting to feel more of my age after doing some rock climbing and, and, uh, and some gym time yesterday, and let's just say, oh my god, <laughs> I am sore. Anyhow, so this is a perpetual motion machine. There is nothing powered on here except for, you know, the, the probe core. And all this does is it's supposed to be able to rock itself forward. Now, here's a picture of what I am trying to go for. This machine, the arms are free swinging. Uh, of course, since the, the game doesn't really allow you to restrict these parts or and also since the parts for our one craft clips through each other I can't restrict them so that's one caveat and this I've been trying to correct but it seems that you just kind of have to let them clip through or the Kraken takes over <laughs> so this is perpetual motion one <clears throat> let me show you perpetual motion two and let's take a look and see how that one works <laughs> so this is perpetual motion 2 and as you can see I tried to extend the arms out and I did it didn't work too well uh, because once again the Kraken rears its ugly head and takes over so yeah when this happens unfortunately you, you run into the comedic <laughs> Uh, realm of g hashtag game physics rather than game physics because well it's having one heck of a rave party right now <laughs> and rave party over <laughs> so now we are into the non kraken version of the perpetual motion machine and you see, what I was trying to prevent with the other versions was, as you can see, the ore containers clip through one another, which doesn't hurt us too much, but with longer arms it wouldn't. But with longer arms we will also get the Kraken, so <laughs> it's not going to work. So, what I have s determined is that this is the particular length that I can use, and what you're seeing here is exactly what I was hoping for. We actually have motion going forward, and, and it's it's slow. Don't get me wrong, it is slow. But after a while, it's more consistent, and we have the motion. Now, I've always wanted one of these on my desk at work, but I'm pretty sure that if I did that, I would probably get nothing done because I do nothing but stare at one of these devices and just be like oh <laughs> it's okay I I uh, I am more than happy to build this as a gif and just stare at the gif for part of my day if uh, I ever need a mental break so this actually works in Kerbal Space Program this is a, another successful physics experiment. I am still working on my Newton's Cradle. 
It is it is increased in size and in uh, complexity, and it is somewhat working, believe it or not. Uh, I don't have the full energy transfer like I would hope for because there is a lot of dampening going on on impact, even on stationary bodies. So that is a bit more problematic, and I'm trying to do that without resulting using engines to assist in the propulsion of the uh, in the transition of the energy going through each unit so I don't want to do that I want to see it work with just normal everyday physics but this here is as you can see as I've been talking we have nice flowing motion and the device is successful. <laughs> so let me uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna zoom in. Let me uh, bring this back up. Aim camera to the Robo adapter that is from Infernal Robotics, and give you a nice view here of this device in action. There we go. Uh, I'm very particular about my camera angles. There we go. Alright, and let's let's take myself out of this. And make sure that we are still capturing the space program. We are. Excellent. <laughs> and give you just a look at this perpetual device in action. Doing its thing and showing us once again how well physics is working. I want to do some more of these machines. I'm going to start to look up more perpetual devices and different physics machines and see if I can build them in the game because this is a whole lot of fun to try to do. I'm doing this using Infernal Robotics. There are uh, there are various parts that you can use in here. I happen to be using a free swinging bearing because that to me is one of the most useful parts if you can get it configured properly. And that gives you, uh, like you can see here, some pretty well swinging arms. And I am just absolutely thrilled at how well this is actually working. <laughs> oh my god, that looks absolutely beautiful. And I love to see it in action. Could I use this for anything? I have absolutely no clue. But uh, I do like the fact that it is working. It's working well. And uh, I think that is going to be my happiest achievement of the day. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, drop me in the comment. Let me know what you think. And hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, I am out of here. It's your boy Jatwan. I'm out. <laughs> Peace. Oh man, go send this out to your friends that keep saying that Kerbal Space Program doesn't have a good physics generator or that don't believe in perpetual motion. Viability! Viability! It's right here! And because I know some people would be like, No, no, he just has a bearing in there and it's powered. Th th there you go, you can see that all these are non-controlled and they are simply just spinning on their own so I just wanted to bring up that evidence right there just to show you and no I didn't just rename these all to uncontrolled if I can click on one you see it's an uncontrolled bit uh, uncontrolled bearing rototron and in here as well is an uncontrolled bearing rototron so no I am not fudging the system I promise you I am not fudging the system these are all uncontrolled and they are all free spinning drawing no electrical charge as you can see up here only electrical electrical charge is coming from that probe core there is no SAS there is no RCS this is a free spinning device showing perpetual motion I just wanted to catch you on that because I know someone's going to be like, oh no, no, he's, he's rotating it. No, you can't rotate an uncontrolled bearing. So there you go. And you can see all the numbers kind of flying through right here. That's that's the real cool part. This is the main bearing right here. And uh, the rest of these are just kind of variously swinging through as they go through their motions. 
still cool, but I just wanted to offer that additional bit of evidence to let you know, no, I'm not fudging the system. <laughs> I wanted you guys.